Hello everybody, welcome back to GearHead Daily. And a question I get a lot from some of my clients and some of the people that are asking me about uh, you know, how I construct things, you know, do I use glue, do I use screws, whatever. I usually use a combination thereof depending on the project. For the most part though, I use uh, glue. And a lot of folks have said, well, glue is strong enough? Glue is, uh, you know, you're not going to nail that together or something? And the answer is no. So I put a, together a little experiment um, just using regular old type bond that you can get off the shelf. And I want to show you uh, just as an experiment how strong glue is. All right. So let's go. All right. So what I've got, yeah, I've got a dog in the frame, but uh, what I've got is an off cut of a cutting board and I'm just going to hit this as hard as I can. And I've, I've made this uh, fairly thin. So the glue lines are actually fairly small in this and we'll see what fails first, the wood or the glue. And then I've actually got a couple of other pieces that I have uh, put together. Uh, that are off cuts from another project uh, and these have lots of glue lines as you can as you can see these have tons of glue lines in them multiple different you know uh, species of wood cherry and maple and then uh, walnut and maple uh, so you can see the glue is and glue lines pretty good uh, but we've got you know multiple glue lines and we'll, we'll we'll try the same experiment on this one but let's give this one a whirl and see how she do so i've actually set the line of the table up with like a glue line itself. So I'm giving it the, the glue the worst possible scenario. Here we go. All right, so what failed first? We had a small glue line failure here, but really the wood broke first and not the glue line. So you can see it actually started, it broke right down there. So if that's not proof enough that the, the glue itself is stronger than the actual wood, I'm not sure what is, but uh, let's give these two a try. These look a little hardier. All right, so hopefully you can tell. I'm actually giving the glue the worst case scenario where the, uh, the grain and also uh, the glue lines are running parallel to, you know, kind of where I'm hitting it. It's, it's, uh, it's right in line with the table. So I'm giving it the worst case scenario. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if this one's any better. I, I suspect this one's going to be even stronger just because of the piece. Don't worry. Uh, no trees were actually harmed. They were already dead when I got there, I swear. So here we go. Ah, it's not going. Doesn't even want to break. <laughs> so, let's take a look at some of the evidence. Nothing. Not a crack. Not, a, not even a stress. Not even a stress joint. Uh, I, do have a, I do have a press, though, so let's go check that out. I had a, a dubious friend recently say, Well, Eric, haven't you had a lot of failures on your, your wood cutting boards? And uh, if hitting it as hard as, you know, I'd say 70% of my power on the table uh, didn't convince you, uh, I'm not really sure what will. So let's, let's throw this into our 12-ton uh, press here and uh, see what it really takes to see if we can even do it. I, I'm actually skeptical this will actually do anything. It's just digging into the wood. It's not actually doing anything. Yeah, you can see it starting to get into the wood there. So at this point, it's just compressing the fibers. It's not actually doing anything. Oh, you can hear it sort of cracking a little bit. Let me give it one more, one more pump. Little, little, little pump. Give her a little, give her a little, little pump. Yeah, she's just sinking right in there. So that ain't gonna do it. And I know what you're saying, Eric. You're not you're, you're not hitting this part. This is the part, right? This is going to probably going to be strong because this is a very strong uh, butcher block style. But what about this, you know, glue line right here? You know, you're not hitting that. So now I got a, uh, a regular uh, metal hammer, a little bit more heft than my uh, chiseling hammer. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to fail this time, right? So in this time, I've got it all the way hung over the edge, right? So there's there's nothing holding this piece of walnut to this maple other than glue 
and uh, the chemical bond. Okay, here we go. I'm losing pieces here. Is glue strong enough? I think so. I wasn't nice to her. I hit her pretty good there. You saw that. Any crack showing? I can't even get my can't even get my fingernail in there. So, is glue stronger than than any mechanical bond? Yes. Is it actually stronger than the actual wood you're using? Yes, it is. End of story.